Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Guess we all survived another Monday, that's a good thing. Thought we would take a look at Kent's 300, McCulloch 300 here, and see if that work we did with the primer uh, over the weekend paid off. I ended up replacing the O-rings where they seal to the uh, carburetor body. Let's see if we can get this to focus. The ring is flat. It doesn't have a rounded edge anymore, so I'm hoping that that's what it was. That and I made sure that this knob was clearing the little air filter deal. So I guess we'll give it a shot. I'm going to do the trick that uh, a lot of the old home light guys do with some of the older ones and shake this up to build a little fuel pressure before trying to prime it. See if we can get it to fire. switch on. moving fuel. I think I might have flooded it. slow picking up and that might just be as good as it gets but again I saw it moving fuel I can see through the it's this green Tigon hose that's in there I could see that fuel was primed to the carburetor so yeah that may be as good as it gets I'll probably try it one more time but that is proof that eventually after whatever that was 15 or 20 primes uh, it did go I'm wondering Next time I try this, I think I'll crank it over four or five times to let the engine really prime the carburetor through the, the pulse and then, then hit the prime like that. But it started and I didn't have to pour gas down the throat. So we're moving in the right direction here. 